Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado, and today we're here at the Asatec booth with Steve Branton. Steve, welcome to Denver, but I think we, we need to start at the beginning. Who is Asatec and who do you help? So Asatec is a liquid cooling company, and what we do is we provide a way to get heat out of high density computers and either into the airstream of the data center or all the way out of the data center in an all-liquid path. So what we're really doing is enabling higher performance clusters to be deployed uh, and the ability to save energy. Well, what are you showcasing this week at SC17? So a couple of things that, that since we talked last. Um, first is we had introduced the um, P100, the NVIDIA P100 coolers last year, and now we actually have that product deployed at multiple locations uh, in multiple clusters. Let me show you one of the first one with our partner Fujitsu, who continues to win business with us. This product is uh, four P100s with a, paired with a pair of Xeons. They take two of these pairs and put them in two U. So pretty dense. Yeah, very high solution. compute density there. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that was. So we're really, really excited to see the P100s shipping into the market now. Um, we have also have wins with uh, P100 and our other partner in the US, Penguin. And we have a new partner, okay. E3. Also exciting in that this is, this is a P100 deployment, but additionally exciting is this is a power deployment. So IBM's power platform, and this is the first time we've deployed a power platform. So that's exciting. Um, that's at price in, in Europe. Okay, Steve, what are we looking at here? So, another new partner for us is Supermicro. We have our first deployment with them in Osaka, Japan. And uh, that's standard Xeon platform, so we're pleased about that. We also are pleased to be announcing Acer as a new partner. We haven't deployed yet with them, but we have an active partnership. And then another area where I think is important is for um, we're trying to develop a, a channel strategy. We're developing a channel strategy. And initially that strategy is gonna be around Intel PCSD product. So over here, we have a, an array of PCSD products, both compute nodes and head nodes. We're looking at being able to provision the entire cluster with liquid cooled nodes. Um, one thing that's exciting about this particular node is this is different from our standard liquid coolers where we're taking the heat all the way out with of the data center with liquid here what we're doing is we're actually enabling intel's new knm processors 320 watt processors to run in an air cooled data center now this is a so this is a regular liquid air heat exchanger heat blows air blows through that and cools the system the air the heat's going to come out the back in the air um, that level of density isn't possible with a standard um, air heat sink. So that's that's new. One of the difficulties, of course, with this particular technology is normally there's not enough room in the server for a hex. So we've come up with another new product. This is our in-rack lack unit. This is the view from the front. I think it might be a little bit more interesting from the back. So what this is is this is a 2U liquid to air heat exchanger. And it's set up with a, a small distribution manifold similar to the ones that we use for our director chip liquid cooling. And what it does is it allows us to take four of those uh, GPGPU nodes with four P100s in it and four of those two SXM2 processor nodes, cluster them together, so four U 16 P100s, eight SXM2s, and cool them with 2U. So that keeps us in a 6U form factor, allowing us to obtain that kind of density for people who are trying to drive to those um, accelerated clusters. But we're excited about that. That'll, that'll ship mid next year. Well, what, it, what is this device here, Steve? So this is our 4U in-rack, um, CDU. You know we've been selling a CDU that mounts on the back of the rack for a long time. We've had some customers that said, hey, that's great, we need the use space. Um, we've had some customers say, well, we'd rather grow our racks a little bit and preserve the floor space. So this product 
allows us to cool um, the same amount. This actually runs up to 80 kilowatts of cooling and allows us to cool without consuming any floor space. So um, you have your choice. Do you need use space or do you need floor space? We have solutions for both situations. That flexibility that you guys have always brought to the table. So nice. Yep. Well, that's okay. good. And I think the most important thing is, um, you know, there's lots of liquid cooling technology here yeah. at the show. Yeah. Yeah. And what we think differentiates Ace Tech is that we are widely deployed from north of the Arctic Circle to the equator <laughs> and around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're pleased to have eight systems in the top 500, one in the top 10, uh, three in the top 100, and the balance in the top 500. So we've very, been very successful. We continue to have partners. Fujitsu, as you can see, continues to add um, deployments. Uh, Penguin is adding deployments with new, new partners. Um, and we think that this is going to be a very effective growing business for Asatech.